All right, hello everybody. I just want to show you how to do some quick and easy coding um, with your BMW. First, you'll need a OBD2 cable. Mine's USB. It hooks to the port on the side of your car right here. Mine has a light that uh, lights up. It's right next to your trunk pull on the driver's side door. Uh, first thing you'll need to do is uh, load up the program and get everything set up, plug up your cable, and then once you get there, you are first going to launch the INPA software. What you are looking for here is two black dots, battery and ignition on. Once you see that, you can end the software, F10. Do you want to quit? Yes. And now you're going to load up NCS Expert. The key thing about the software when you get it from the eBay user, uh, ask the seller does it have the latest updated SD, I'm sorry, SP Daten files? Uh, those are the newest configs for your car. Uh, if it's already loaded up in there, it'll save you all the time trying to find them all over the internet. Mine has pretty much everything loaded up for all the cars that, that I would ever work on. Um, also, with that, just be particular to your car. You know, if you need to tell them, can you just, because they're pretty big files. If you tell them, hey, I just need the, you know, E60, they'll load it in there for you. Um, a lot of people use different profiles, especially with the older versions of NCS Expert. Uh, you find a lot of people using the RevTurs profile, which is a great uh, profile, um, but it's not really necessarily have to have it in the uh, newer versions of NCS Expert tool. I have the version 4.0.1. Uh, the way to find that out is just to go to File, I'm sorry, Help Info, and you'll see what version you have right there. All right, so to begin, like I said, a lot of people with the older versions, if you don't have that version, you are probably going to need the Revters profile. Uh, all the Revters profiles that I found out on the line, online, when I tried to load them into the newer versions of NCS Expert, they do not take. Um, took some hunting around, but realized that the newer versions of NCS Expert, uh, the profile expert mode does everything that Revters would do. Uh, the key thing about Revters was is you can manipulate the man file. Or the TRC file. Uh, we'll get to that. You'll see. Don't worry. This is not complicated at all. All right. So I'm picking expert mode. If you have the older version, you will be picking Revters profile. Once I pick that, I'm going to go down here to VIN uh, ZCS slash FA. Click that. Oh, my mouse. Click that. Choose your vent. Your, uh, your. I'm sorry. Hold up. Yeah. Choose your uh, your body style, your chassis. This is. I'm actually doing this a little backwards. Sorry, guys. I don't think I've clicked on that profile. Low profile expert mode. Okay. There we go, VIN CCS slash FW. Once you click that, then you will click the ZC slash FA F dot ECU. Then you will pick your body style. Click OK. For what I want to code, it's on the CAS. As you see there, LMA is primarily the lighting modules. So I'm picking the CAS. And you'll see it pull up. My VIN and everything just came up at the top. So once that happens, I'm going to hit F6, which is back. You see it down there. And then I'm going to hit, you see all those different, uh, it says get coded, and then it has a whole different uh, uh, like mass, SCM. Those are all the different modules that I can uh, code. So at this point, I'm going to click F2, oh, I got that. Process ECU. And now I'm going to select the module that I want to work with. I am about to, uh, I'm going to show you how to code the folding mirrors if you do have the motors in your mirror. And that will be the KGM. So I'm hitting OK there. And it pulls up really fast for some people. For some people, it's, it's slower. So once I've done that, 
I'm going to hit F2, which is change job. And then I'm going to pick Coderin Leeson. It's uh, pretty much you guys can read it. I got a clear shot of it right there. Coderin Leeson. And then you're going to click OK. And then you're going to click read ECU. This may take a second. You'll see a white page with a whole bunch of numbers and letters pull up. Uh, some for, like I said, for some of the older versions of NCS Expert, it does take a, a couple minutes. You can X out of that once you get to that, and you can minimize NCS Expert. I already have a shortcut to the work folder inside the NCS Expert program, but it's just going to be the long map is going to be C Drive, NCS Expert, then work. What you're looking for is a file called FSW underscore PSW, and it's a lot of people have .trc. Mine doesn't say .trc, but if you look at the file type over here, it says TRC. What you're going to do with this is you're going to right-click and you're going to copy it. I'm sorry. Yeah, there you go. Copy. This uh, keyboard is very sticky today. doesn't want to um, let you press the buttons. I have a backup folder. And you can go into the backup folder. You see I have all my old ones for different mods I've done. Right click on there, paste it in there. Uh, it's gonna ask me do I want to replace it. I always keep mine. So I can always go back, look at the time, the date, know where if I need to go back and change something to an old way. You can go ahead and X out of that. Now that file that you had, the PS the FSW that underscore PSW dot TRC. You can go ahead and right click that and put open with. I'm just showing you the long way. Mine's already established the notepad, but you're going to open it with notepad. Once it opens up, this is where you're going to search for the known codes that you uh, basically have to go online and look. I actually will put a link down there for you guys to see some of the common codes with different models. You'll see X's if it's been verified that it works on certain models. Uh, that doesn't mean that it doesn't work if you don't see an X. Just go ahead and try it out. You might get lucky. Uh, I've gotten lucky plenty of times uh, seeing something that works on like a, uh, one of the newer Beamers. And I ended up, uh, it ended up working fine on my car. Uh, you really can't, if you know what you're clicking on and you're, what you're doing, you really can't really screw anything up. Just don't go outside your lane. All right, so what I'm looking for is this right here. It says, Bean Clapping underscore B comfort SCHL. I don't, my German is bad. And it says niche active. That niche is not. So all you're going to do is backspace and get rid of the underscore and the niche. So now all it says is active. The other one I'm looking for that has to do with the fold mirrors is the uh, ASP being clapping. And I'm one again, all I'm doing is backspacing and getting rid of the niche. Okay. You guys see that? So now I'm going to go file, save as, make sure right here, make sure that you drop down and you click all files because you're going to save this as a dot man file. Um, so my computer's used to me. So as soon as I put dot, the man is going to pop up right underneath it, but you're going to save it as a dot man file. Click save. It's going to ask me, do I want to replace? Yes, because I already have a man file right there, as you guys can see. And I'm replacing over that one. That one is the one without those mods in it. So I'm going to say yes. That's it. So now I just X out of this. X out of this. Go back to my NCS expert that was up and running. And all I am going to do at this point is... Uh, Go to F2, change job. Oh, I don't want to click on the Internet Explorer. F2, change job. And this time around, I'm looking for SG Coderin. SG underscore, SG underscore Coderin. So I click on that. Hit OK. Hit execute job. Now, on a lot of things that you execute, you'll see on your iDrive, it will go black. And basically reboot and the BMW will come up. But since my motors are not in my rear view mirrors right now, um, it won't do the black. But you can go ahead and mod it like I did now. Put the motors in, plug it in with just the plugs, 
and it's going to work when the car, you know, turn the car off, turn back on, uh, hold your unlock button down for your windows to automatically roll down. That's a factory feature on mini cars. Rolling them up, you won't get that unless you code it. Um, the code for that will be in the script below. It's just, you do the same process you did now. Look for the module. That module is the module you will click on in the front. Find the word for the window. It's going to have a description of what that word will do and if it needs to be active or not active for that setting to work. It's pretty simple. Right now, that job is done. And now I can just exit out of this. All right, I hope that's been some help. Uh, you'll see I have two videos up. I've already coded a, a couple things on here. Don't know too much what I want to do right now next, but I'll figure something out and do a hands-on video all the way through. Uh, the biggest ones that people are coding right now that I'm aware of is the window roll back up by holding your lock button down. Really, really, really easy. If you follow these same steps, all you need to do is the module and the name for window and whether it needs to be active or not active, which will be in the from the link that I'm putting down below. A lot of times people try to click on that link. It won't take you right there. You need to copy and paste it into your URL, to your uh, Yahoo or Google or whatever, into your search browser up at the top of your uh, window screen and just navigate directly to it by cutting and paste it there. Uh, other than that, uh, leave me a message. You can you can contact me at uh, rkilburn357 at yahoo.com if you need any help or any assistance. I can kind of walk you through it. Uh, share the knowledge. You guys figure out some codes that work, especially for E60. Uh, shoot me an email. Let me know what code you figured out. All right, thank you.